The Blade uses four LF drivers. These are eight inch drivers and we've completely redesigned them compared to the ones we used on the concept. And the reason we did that is we wanted an even better level of bass performance uh, compared to what we were getting before. And in redesigning them we've included some new technologies which um, help us attain this level of performance. For example, there's a vented coupler system which joins the voice coil to the diaphragm. A problem with some conventional drivers is that you can get air pressure building up behind the diaphragm. The vented coupler allows this air to escape. We've also got a decoupling mechanism so that at high frequencies any distortion generated at the voice coil won't reach the diaphragm. In total the result is that the bass is even deeper and more dynamic than the concept blade. The blade uses a KEF technology which we developed um, quite some time ago which is force cancelling technology. Uh, the drivers themselves generate a lot of vibration and if this is unchecked it simply passes into the cabinet, the cabinet resonates and that creates unwanted sound radiation. By placing the drivers in opposing pairs, vibration generated at one of the base drivers is exactly equal and opposite to the one it's attached to. The vibration never reaches the cabinet and essentially there's no vibration in the walls and no coloration of the sound. The cabinet itself is a really important part of the loudspeaker for its performance and for the blade we've chosen a material called glass reinforced composite which is very stiff material and we've also spent a great deal of time uh, working on FE models of the cabinet to optimize the, the bracing and, and you know, ensuring that the rigidity is extremely high. The internal division of the box is very important for the performance as well and we've divided the base chambers into separate enclosures. So the upper pair of drivers are in one enclosure and the lower in a separate one. This is really to control the internal standing waves and ensure we don't have to put too much damping material in the box that could deaden the, the base sound. The crossover itself is also in a separate part of the box to avoid any interaction with uh, the, the rest of the loudspeaker. This is all part of KEF's total design approach and we haven't overlooked any detail in our quest for ultimate performance from the Blade. Blade, celebrating 50 years of innovation in sound.